Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on a little project that I worked on with my son. He had a school project and he had to make something dealing with circular motion or circular action. He wanted to make a double pendulum. So I wanted to show you how this is actually pretty quick and easy to build. And it's a, a pretty cool little project that demonstrates uh, chaos theory. So you need to have a base. This is just scraps that we had lying around. I built it with some one by twos and basically just did uh, two of those at a 45 degree angle to give this post some support. Screwed them to the base from underneath and then also attach those supports to the sides here. At the top, let's start with this. Did a, a lag bolt there and drill the hole through your post. Put this spacer here to allow some give here so that it's not hitting that post. And then inside each of these, I drilled the hole just big enough to fit that ball bearing. And what we did is we just went over to Walmart and they had a bunch of these on clearance, just the fidget spinners. And on the ends, on each of these ends was a ball bearing that you just push out. And so if you look in there real good, you can see that the drill I had, the drill bit was just a little bit bigger than the actual bearing so it wouldn't stay snug in there. So what I did, you can see a little bit of that thread there. I just wrapped the outside of the bearing with a little bit of uh, painter's tape, masking tape, any tape will really work just to give it a little tighter fit and it stays in there nice and snug. I also put on, before I put the nut on, I put some uh, nylon washers in there and then put a lock nut. And this right here, I just ripped some boards, make them nice and skinny. So down on the, the bottom one, did the same thing, bolt between the two pieces of wood, I put about three or four nylon washers, just again to give it some space. Another nylon washer on either side of that bearing, and then a lock nut. But it lets it spin pretty freely. And really it just demonstrates uh, how you can spin this. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. But you can spin this and each time you do it, it's gonna spin differently with that double pendulum effect. So I'll show you one more example of that. And no matter how you do it, whether you're pushing it or you just drop it, it's going to spin a little bit different each time. So it's a pretty cool little project uh, to help your kids out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. And if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.